Hello, I'm Robert Grant, and welcome to LearnMyShot.com. Today we're taking our camera outdoors and photographing a garden. We're going to show you an approach to shooting the garden, also the different kinds of light, early morning light, late morning light, and midday light, and show you the differences of each. So let's get outside and begin. So here we are. We're walking into the garden, and uh, I suggest the first thing you do is take a good walk around the garden and see what's there. Uh, this particular garden has a water feature, which uh, is a, a three small ponds and a couple of waterfalls, which we'll see a little better from a higher angle, but this is basically it from a low angle. You can see all the great plantings and the rocks. So walk around the garden first, see what's there, decide what you want to shoot, uh, and then begin to shoot. Here's a really cool overhead angle of the water garden. Getting a piece of the uh, decking in so that it gives you some architecture around that uh, makes for a more interesting shot. So now I've come up onto the deck and shooting across the pond and down through the yard so you get this wonderful distance and you really see how it all works. Making the stone pathway the important part of the shot uh, is very nice too. Everybody loves a little garden path and here that's sort of the focus of the photograph and the garden, the green, the greenery is almost secondary. And here I've walked down into the yard and I've turned around towards the house and I'm getting a feeling of the entire garden with where the house is, where the gardens are how they work uh, in the yard, and the, uh, the, the spatial feeling of everything. Here we see a view from the lower yard looking towards the house. Now we're coming back up from the lower yard along this little stone path, and there's a wooden stairway between these two gardens, which I think is a really nice architectural detail. So I backed off, uh, to one side and did a shot framing the garden between the decking in the background and the stairway in the foreground. It makes a really good shot. So I'm up alongside the pond here and now we're coming down through and we're seeing some great shots. So you have something like this where the lily pads become the focus and it's surrounded, sort of framed by the rocks and greenery. So we keep walking down. There's a second pond. Again, we have a pond in the middle, which is the focus with the rocks and the greenery surrounding it. Each shot has a sort of a focus to it. Um, that's what's making strong garden photography. Here's another good angle. It's very strong, showing both ponds, uh, but your eye's not confused. It has good balance. Here's another example of good composition. You have the foreground and background working with the red in the front and the swing in the back, and then the two large grasses sort of anchoring the middle. So this house also has a pool, and um, they surrounded it with some greenery, kept it pretty simple, but this angle works very nice uh, because you have the, uh, the greenery in the foreground, the umbrella in the background, and a piece of the house. And the pool is still very much the focus of the shot. So let's talk about lighting. Um, this is early in the morning. There's no sunshine. It's just an even skylight. It's a really nice time to shoot. Uh, you can get some great stuff in this type of lighting. Uh, make sure you have a tripod though because uh, some of the light will be low and you won't get uh, enough depth of field without doing a long exposure. So here we are about an hour later. The sun is just coming through the trees. You can see it's dappling on the foreground there and then way in the background. It gives us a nice uh, dimension and some beautiful light to shoot in. Here's another example of it. This time it's directly behind me, so it's very light on the subject, giving us very rich colors. And here we've got a little bit later in the day, about 10 o'clock or so. The sun is a little higher. It still gives us good dimension, lots of color, and uh, it works very well. This is probably a little bit better of an angle for this type of light because you get to see the shadowing a little more not so overhead, so I do like this better. Now here's the hot midday sun, the light's directly overhead. It's a bit harsh. Uh, this is not a great angle for using this kind of light. It's too confusing. So keep the shape strong and simple when you're using uh, midday hot sun, and you can get some successful shots. Uh, I think this one works quite well. 
Well, thanks for watching, and I hope this improves your garden photography. Get out there and shoot some gardens, your friend's garden, your mother's garden, a public garden, uh, and just keep in mind some simple pointers that we showed you throughout this video about lighting and composition. And then post your pictures here on our website. We'd love to see them. But look for us again at LearnMyShot.com.